These are the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Micromasters Roller Force and Groundhog Direct Hit and Power Punch 2 packs. These figures were part of this one was obviously part of Wave 2 of the Micromasters for the Earthrise line and he's from uh, Wave 3. So originally they were selling at our local Toy Kingdom and Toys R Us stores out here in Manila for $13. $13 or 650 pesos but I decided to wait and I'm glad I did because I was able to pick them up at super clearance for 150 pesos or three dollars per pack what an amazing deal let's get these guys out of packaging here are both Decepticon teams out of packaging wave two and wave three let's start with the race cars roller force and groundhog they're actually pretty cool I mean, I mean for race cars, they should be looking pretty basic, but they're not. They're actually, wonderfully sculpted. I'm really liking uh, both these guys. Look at this guy, Roller Force. Uh, a little bit of trouble with the articulation uh, on my copy. The ball joints seem to only be allowing the legs to move forward and backward. I don't know if it's a common thing. I tried moving it sideways, but it, it just ended up popping the ball joint. So. Ball joints can go this way and that way and that way and that way. So shoulders, wide range of motion as well. The head does not swivel. It's got a waist swivel. Hinge knees. Wonderfully sculpted Decepticon. Okay. Next up, Groundhog. I love the colors on this one. It's so retro purple. It kind of reminds me of Spinister or the G2 Ramjet. Yeah, even the, the blue, yellow, just a great color palette. Very cool. Great articulation, ball jointed uh, shoulders, hips, allows a wider range of motion for that those hips. Hinge knees. Does he have a waist swivel? Yes, he does. Great, great articulation for these two. Great sculpt. I love the silhouette for both these cars. And then on to the direct hit and power punch. Uh, these two are, I believe, repacks from the Siege line. So if you've seen my review of the Siege version of these figures, it is exactly the same figures. I believe I don't have those figures anymore. But from the way they look, I don't think they changed anything. Even the paint on the face was purple here and there. The color of the plastic has not changed. It is a straight-up repack. So, yeah, basically the same thing we've seen. Just beautifully sculpted figures. I love the fact that these two combine actually to form a bigger uh, vehicle in alt mode. And we'll get to that in a little while. Let's start with these race cars. So, Roller Force, basic transformation. Go ahead and fold up the legs. Okay. Arms. Okay. And then the front part of the car kind of reminds me of a Hot Wheels car model it's not a, one of the wreckers in the movie uh, Dark of the Moon yeah pretty cool flame deco right here silver windows and windshield silver exhaust groundhog very similar transformation go ahead and fold this way Kind of like that, <laughs> that bit of uh, engineering. The, the legs do split to form the rear end of the car. And then this bit goes right here. Yeah, I actually like Groundhog more than Roller Force, but both of them look really nice. I don't remember them as G1 MicroMaster. Somebody let me know if they were. These are an homage to G1. Okay, on to these two. Direct hit. Okay, let's see. Still transform him. Very simple. There you go. And then power punch. Fold up shoulders. Okay. 
Now, they're supposed to be separate vehicles on their own, but we all know that they actually form to combine. This is the actual alt mode, I believe. Yeah, it's very cool. I, I like this. I actually like these two back in Siege and, you know, nothing's changed. I, I still feel the same way about them. He looks really great. And his weapon mode is like a rocket launcher like that. You, you mount this on any figure that has a five millimeter grip or a fist, a deluxe Voyager leader class and becomes like a rocket just like that. But this is the alt mode for me. I like that one. Now these two, they have a combined mode. It's it's a little tricky. I mean, I thought they would just, I honestly thought they would just, you know, combine together like the Autobot cars and they would just, you know, strap on like that. You have to do a little bit of a transformation. So wait, let me just get this guy started. Okay, do that front part and here do it like this okay and this is supposed to be the handle so it's like a gun on its own like that. and this guy let me transform him fold it this way okay and then fold it down this way and at this point you just combine both And that's the gun mode. It looks weird. It it kind of feels like they were going for a rifle. Um, I don't know. You, you hold him like this and it's okay. I love the effort they put on it. I, like, this one has barely any effort on it. You just turn him upside down and he's a gun or a missile launcher. So I do love, I do like and appreciate the effort they put to combine uh, these two figures. Final thoughts on these guys. Again, they're a lot of fun, but as I, always, as I mentioned in my previous video on MicroMasters, I would only recommend this, these sets if you can pick them up at super clearance prices. Like I, I got them for $3 each, each pack. I think that is very justifiable. I think it is a swell deal. If you can find them at that clearance price, they are a definite must have, must pick up. But at $13, Definitely not. I don't think you should pay full retail price for these figures. Uh, if at all, maybe $5 a pack. That's probably the most I would pay for them. But $3, I'm, I'm very happy. Let me know in the comment section what you think of these two Decepticon teams from Wave 2 and Wave 3 of the MicroMasters from the Earthrise line. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.